One Piece chapter 1129 and 1130 are out, and you might be wondering, why are you reviewing these chapters three weeks late? Yeah, that's on me, my bad. I was sick with mono, which literally had me unable to speak for about three weeks straight. But we are back, baby, and it is time to review these chapters. Before we hop into it, though, if you do like this video, please subscribe. Also, the review for 1131 is coming out soon. Anyway, chapter 1129 starts with the supposed Deer God chasing after the Straw Hats. And as they're being chased out, Luffy says, Hey, he took this long to build this room, let's not mess it up on the way out. Which, I don't know why that stood out to me so much, but it's just hilarious. You getting chased by a cult leader calling himself a god, and Luffy still respects this man's work. And that's why Luffy is such a good main character. He is literally the only person in this story who could break apart and reunite the One Piece world and have zero bias or motive to put himself in a position of power. And I probably sound like I'm meat riding right now, but I don't know. I feel like if you ignore this stuff in One Piece, you might as well just be watching Dragon Ball or some other action-packed show because this is so important. Moving on though, we also find out that this room that they're in is supposedly an old jail cell made for giants of Elbath, and this dear god dude is using it for his freaky desires. But man, I gotta say it. This poor dude captured the wrong people. First, Zoro cuts his metal wires. Then apparently, they literally murdered this man's pet guard bunny. And Usopp, I, I don't know when this happened. Somehow, he has a nuke for his slingshot. And Nami literally one-shots the deer god with Zeus. And that's a lot to unpack, so let me just take a step back. No X. Usopp, what the hell, man? When did you get a tactical nuke, bro? This is not Call of Duty. And by the way, you don't think that would have been helpful when, I don't know, you had a ginormous spider, Demon Gorose, trying to literally eviscerate you and your crew on Egghead. What are you doing? Also, I gotta give credit to Nami because she low-key has been frying ever since she got Zeus. And I mean literally, she turned a giant into fossil fuel, bro. Do not sleep on that. The average giant is like pre-time skip Luffy level. Speaking of Luffy, he also showed something off, which is he has fully mastered Gear 4, just like Gear 3, and can turn part of his body into a King Kong gun. And that is so fire, because I always thought Gear 4 was kinda too much, like the attacks are awesome, but the transformation itself was always OD as hell. But, that is the end of the chapter as Luffy and the crew escape Diddy Jail. And now we're in chapter 1130 where things get wild. So we see Frankie and the rest of the crew who got separated from Luffy in our on Dorian Broggy ship reading the news. And in the news it says Luffy killed Vegapunk, which is kind of ironic because Vegapunk isn't technically dead. But the news also shows Luffy in his Gear 5 form, which is kind of important because it shows Crack News Morgan has fully gone rogue on the government. And there's also an important detail that Robin points out. There is an X on Luffy's Gear 5 form, and this might be one of the craziest hints Oda has ever dropped. So the X obviously isn't on Luffy's arm for real, but real One Piece fans might remember that X from somewhere. You guessed it? We going all the way back to Alabasta when Vivi and the crew signified their friendship with the X. And in my opinion, this is Vivi letting the Straw Hats know that she is alive and with Crack News Morgan. And it's also cool because I think Vivi might have got this idea from 3D to Y. But let's set that aside for a second because I am finally proven right. My kings, Dory and Broggy have a bounty of 1.8 billion each. And man, this is what I needed to see, cause everyone was hating on me. But I genuinely think Dory and Broggy are at least Yonko second in command level, especially when they fight together. Also, it's funny seeing how even in the One Piece world, inflation is at an all time high, because apparently their old bounty of 100 million 
billion would be worth what it is now of 1.8 billion. Do you realize how crazy that is? 18 times inflation over 100 years is insane. It also kind of reminds me of when you talk to an old lady at the grocery store and she starts yapping about how she used to buy a car for a dollar and 25 cents. Moving on though, we see Luffy's half of the crew who is now in some snowy area which is apparently on Elbaf. We also meet Gerd and Goldberg who are giants that are a part of the new giant pirates led by Haverdeen, the giant from Dress Rosa. And it gets kind of interesting here because they mention Loki who I have personally really been looking forward to and it's mentioned that Loki is locked up right now because he tried to kill his dad to get a devil fruit that was passed down through giant royalty. Which according to mythology sounds about right for Loki and as far as the fruit goes I have a theory and for it to make sense we have to skip around a bit because later we see Loki and he introduces himself as the sun god. So basically I think Luffy ate the fruit that was supposed to be passed down to the giants and I also think this not only because it's the sun god fruit but because part of the fruit is becoming a giant. It's also a little bit of a stretch, but when talking about Luffy, how can it not be? Also, for anyone curious, like I said, I am very late to these chapters due to being sick, so if someone else already had this idea and I didn't see it, all credit to them. Speaking of Luffy though, he takes off from the rest of the crew and barges into this castle where we see Loki chained up. And holy hell does this guy look crazy, this has got to be one of the coldest designs I have ever seen Oda draw. And this panel spread meets the level of hype, cause this is just majestic, and it's crazy cause it's followed up by another insane spread of Elbaf. And look, I'm seeing some crazy things on this panel, but we gonna have to get into it next week because this is already a crazy long video for my standards, but hey, if you enjoyed it, I appreciate you, and also if you want, feel free to subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any theories you have about these chapters and what you thought of them. Anyway, like the vid, so appreciate y'all. Deuces.